so this all right, excuse me. So this year, uh, lesson 38, I'm going to start in the middle, 38.b. It's called Designated Roots, page 272. So this here is a quadratic equation. Called a quadratic because it has an x squared term. All right? Now, now what is this? Like, now what is this? It's still a quadratic, but now it's a quadratic expression because I don't have an equal sign. It can't be an equation if it doesn't have an equal sign. So quadratic expression, quadratic equation. How do we solve a quadratic equation? Well, there are three ways you can solve a quadratic equation. Somebody, uh, Caleb, give me one of them. The quadratic formula. You can use a quadratic formula. True, give me another the one. The new one that we're learning right now. Or the... No, actually. Or the... Oh. I forget the name. Completing the, the square. Yeah. Thank you, Isabel. No. Completing the square. Don't I drop that. The the factoring. And factoring. Of the three, qu uh, quadratic formula, completing the square, and factoring, which one is usually the easiest and factoring. fastest? Factoring. 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 Uh, however, it's not always possible. Bummer. Uh, and so the completing the square and the quadratic formula you can always use, uh, but they just require more steps. If you can factor, factoring is the easiest and fastest. So in a case like this, we would factor this how? Uh, well, actually, let me first point out. What is the coefficient of the x squared term? One. One. And since the x squared term is listed first, we call that the lead term. And so I would say that this quadratic equation has a lead coefficient of 1, which is a bunch of fancy words saying that I've got a quadratic equation, the x squared term doesn't have uh, some number other than 1 in front of it, which is kind of handy because when it's, when it's just a 1 here, when I factor it, I can just start like this. i got my two sets of parentheses, and I just have an x and an x because x times x is the way I get x squared or 1x squared. Now, what, would I, what do I do to factor here? Negative can't. 7 times 4. That's right, you can't. It's negative 7 and positive 4. Because negative 7 times positive 4 gives us a negative 28. Negative 7x plus 4x gives us... I did this wait, wrong, wait, didn't no, I? No, it's negative 4 positive 7. Aha! Uh -huh. Negative 4 that. positive 7. Let's try that again. Positive 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. Positive 7x minus 4x is positive 3x. Yay, we factored it. I don't like that. So if we want to solve this, what do we do? You do plus or minus 7 and plus 4. Yes, because fancy phrase with zero factor theorem. If I have two factors, this times this equals 0, well, that means that x plus, oh, Brown is trying to die on this. x plus yeah. 7 could equal 0, x minus 4 could equal 0. In both cases, we solve for x by moving the, co the number to the other side. In this scenario, x would be negative 7, and in this scenario, x would be positive 4. If I start here uh, with an x of negative 7 uh, or an x of 4, what if I want to start with this and work my way backwards to get to the equation? Oh boy, working backwards. No. No? No. Yes. Aren't you just Please distributing? No. Yes. All you got to do is distribute. What, what form does it take here? If I have an x of negative 7, and when I get to this step, uh, in this step here, I've got x plus 7. This here, I've got an x of 4, but here it says x minus 4. The form looks like this. x minus whatever my root times x minus the other one. And I can set it equal to zero. So if I plug in a negative seven here as the a possible one value of x that would make that makes this equation true, or the, or if it was an expression that makes this expression come out to zero, an x of negative seven, I, if I want to have a factor of x plus seven, I have to plug it in this way, x minus negative seven. Uh, an x with a positive 4 here, plugging into this form, it's x minus 4, so x minus 4. So if I start here, all I have to do at this point, uh, x minus a negative 7 is x plus 7, x minus 4, okay, that's not the best handwriting, but equals 0, I distribute uh, x times x is x squared, x times negative 4 is 3, x I guess, okay, see x x times x, x times negative 4 is negative 4x, 
7 times x is positive 7x, 7 times negative 4, negative 28. And this will come as a major shock to you, I'm sure. We now have x squared minus 4x plus, so that is going to us 3x minus 28, and we can say it equals 0. And we have now gone from the ending point, plugging things into here, and we've gotten, all we did is, all I did is plug it in and multiply it out, and we are back to our starting point. How very exciting. 38.b, designated roots, please pay attention up here. Thank you. Uh, is this process from here to here? All you got to do is write this down. Uh, this would be a good thing to put on your formula sheet, preferably with better handwriting than I have. What is this for? Quadratic formula? Uh, the book calls them designated roots. <clears throat> is this form right here? For example, blue. Wow, Brian said something other than brown. Oh, I didn't see that you put brown away. <laughs> okay. So here, here's the here's the form. Let's say uh, this is example thirty-eight dot It says, write the quadratic equation with a lead coefficient of 1, whose roots are negative 3 fifths and 1 half. All you got to do is plug it in to this. Negative 3 fifths, 1 half, and distribute, multiply it out. At x, we have x plus 3 fifths, x minus 1 half, 0. We've got x times x is x squared, x times negative 1 half, negative 1 half x. 3 fifths times x, that's an arrow, is 3 fifths x, 3 fifths times that. We've got negative 3 tenths, and we add it all together. We have x squared. 1 tenth x. Uh, plus thank you. Plus 1 tenth x minus 3 tenths, and it asked for... It asks for a quadratic equation with a lead coefficient of 1. We have answered the question, and there we go. Will it trick you and say it's a lead coefficient of 6 or something like that? Uh, no, it won't. Uh, let's, do, let's do one more example. The, the, pro the concept of the process is very simple. The, what I have up here in black, all you got to do is plug the two roots into that and multiply it out. Sometimes they make it a little bit annoying for you, because that's, you know, this book. Uh, so, so the next example is the same type of problem. Make this look a little better here. X minus this equals zero. And let's do example oh, excuse me. brown. Um, I don't want to do brown. Pink. I said I said pink. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, can I get a look at the board? Well, just a second. All right. So example thirty-eight dot six. It wants the quadratic equation with the lead coefficient of one, whose roots are one plus radical two and one minus radical two. Oh. Ew. Wow. Same process though. All I did was plug the two things into this form, and now I just have to multiply it out. Uh, remember to distribute the negative. In many of these cases, it's not going to matter. It's not going to make a big difference because we have a plus and a minus, but do be aware of that. Mm -hmm. I always like to start... AB? Yes. I always like to start by writing out or distributing the negative so that I know that I have accounted for it. All right, so here we go, x times x. x times negative 1. Negative x. Okay, x times radical 2. Add 2x. Two Another color, let's do negative 1 times x. Negative 1x. Here, here's a tip. Line up your 
uh, like variables. Negative one. The radical number term, so I will start a new column here. All right, I'll use your brown now. Uh, negative two, or negative, negative rad two times x. Negative, negative two, two x. rad negative two. Negative rad two x. I hear the talking over here. Please don't do that. Negative radical two minus one plus, plus rad two. Okay, I already I have a rad two term right here, so I'll line that up. Negative rad two times positive rad two. Negative two. Negative two. Negative two. I have one uh, a real number there. X squared minus two. So add all these up. I've got an x squared term. X squared minus two x. Minus two x. These cancel. Minus one. These cancel. And it asks for a, a quadratic equation. So I have equal zero. And now I have a quadratic, it has an x squared, equation with a lead coefficient of one. I don't write that, but now I have answered the question. How very exciting. Uh, and to make the point, if you took this equation here, and either completed the square or applied the quadratic formula, you would get these as your answers. So this is, this one is plus or minus rad two. No. Uh, it, it could be. The, it, the book treats these as a different type of problem. It's not going to ask you to solve this and check your answer with it. It'll be one or the yeah, other. Be, it? Yes, yes it would. Uh, so that is, let's the 38.b designated roots.